Welcome everyone. Hello, hello. How's it going, sir? It's going good. How are you? Pretty good. Um, what are we def defending today? What are we building today? So we're doing um, part two of the um, Lego Defender. Yeah, which the is Lego Technic Defender. Land Rover Defender. Yeah, and it's proving to take quite a long, a long time. We're thinking it's gonna take maybe around four or five streams like it, it usually takes like a bag per yeah. today might only be bag two to be honest it's, that's what i'm, that's what I'm thinking there's five bag two so okay it so might even be longer than yeah two. um but yeah we can wait for people to just yeah. trickle in uh when i didn't uh, pull out lego laps can i jeez oh we, we, i mean we have we have a few minutes yeah we have a couple minutes so for people to like trickle in and stuff like that um Vaccines have started to roll out. Yes, they have. Um, it's weird. There, there, there's no, there's no show to look forward to this week. So it's just like a, a small calm yeah. before a small. Yeah, I, stream. I, I thought that there would be a uh, Marvel content every week. Yeah, but I, I guess I, not. I, I guess they're yeah. taking breaks, like a week break here. I wouldn't there. be surprised if they do that, like starting next year. Maybe yeah. Right now, it's um, just like it's a lot of content to fill, and maybe too much too fast wouldn't be a good thing. Yeah, um, but we got a pretty good finale for uh, WandaVision, so yeah, we let's... have Doctor Strange to look forward to, and um, I don't know where else she's gonna show up. She might show up in something else, I don't know. And the next thing is Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I believe so. Next, yeah. next Friday, I believe. Yeah, and then. There's Black Widow and Loki. Is there another What If? I believe there's What If over the summer. Yeah. And I think in the fall it's like She-Hulk or, or uh, Hawkeye. Oh, okay, okay. So What If is, um, is it, it's not live action, right? No, it's animated. It's going to it's gonna be on Disney Plus? I believe so. So we're just doing the, the usual. Yeah. I don't know. Only one person right now. Probably me. Um. Yeah. So bag two. All right. I want you to walk to walk the audience into what we're what, what we will be making today. So. I think yeah. you can use the screen if you like. Oh yeah. Let's jump over to computer. Or I can just do this and just point oh, it to bag two. Uh, oh, I thought it would come up here. All right, so this is what we built. This was bag one. Um, pretty much the transmission, the back, the back portion of the car. Um, I'm guessing the back seats are probably going to sit up here, and then it's going to move forward this way. Um, yeah, so we have some like shocks here and some other stuff. And now, and for bag two. On screen, as you can see, we're building pretty much the all of the chassis of the Defender and the four seats um, and the engine. So probably a lot more gear we, mechanism and stuff. Oh yeah, we didn't. Oh jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. I forgot. I think we. This is part of the transmission, and then uh, you'll be making the engine. Yeah, this is the back. The back transmission. Yeah. I'm assuming. So like, I'm guessing the back seats are sitting right above here. And then it moves forward. This still looks quite complicated. Really. I'm noticing something here. But I don't know if it should be like that or not. Hmm. If, if you move this wheel one direction the other one moves in the other direction and it's, it's this is for wheels right this is the place oh, where you snap. like if you move it in one direction the other one moves in the other direction i i don't even know where to begin with with where it could have but there was no wheel. this was very early on like like the first couple yeah pages so
flipped something? I have no idea what could I mean, have. I mean, the, the tires are flipped, but that doesn't matter. You like when it when yeah. you won't be able to roll <laughs> it. <laughs> it won't roll. It's e brakes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, bro. Yeah. oh, man. A at least it'll look nice. Welcome. Oh, my dear. How's it going? Thank you for joining us. But it how how can it be like that though? Like it doesn't matter if the gear is flipped, right? Because it doesn't feel there there was any way to flip a gear. Yeah, exactly. So Oh, I see what's going on. Weird. That's weird. Like if you like if you look at the gear system in here, yeah. this one when the when the right one moves up. This one moves down, but that's because there is a gear in the middle moving them both. Mm -hmm. But that'll automatically mean both of them move in the opposite direction. There's no other way. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. There was no other way. So, so like it would move in the opposite, like which doesn't make sense because. Because I don't think that's how wheels are supposed to operate. All right, bag two. Uh, we don't have music. We don't have music. Samu, hello. Hello. One of these days we need to up our music game. Yeah. Um, are you still in Saudi Arabia? There were five, right? Comfortable today? No. No? <laughs> not anymore. Not after looking at how many bags we have. This seems like a Lego set by itself. Yeah. But it's not. It's uh, it's just one bag. I remember when I bought this, I'm like, oh yeah, it's only 1,200 pieces or something. This one? Yeah, I didn't realize like 2,500 pieces. Yeah. So we gotta take care of that. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. I'm gonna make a nice big mess on my side. I think we know how this one works, where it catches, turns it. Oh yeah. That's really smart, actually, the way this... The way the orange thing is used to Saudi. Or San Ramon. Yeah. Um, I think I just outed where we all live. <laughs> it's okay. It's a, it's a family affair. Uh, right now at least. Until in the future somebody comes back to the Super screen. I know where to hunt these guys down. Oh my goodness. Dude. Finding pieces is gonna be gonna take some effort. Yeah, hopefully we'll have a nice conversation today. Not about anything dangerous. So 
for anyone who didn't join us last week. I'm not going to be repeating anything I was saying. Kumail would like to start this apology video and explain what he said and why he said I, it. I don't, I, I don't. Make, make I, sure I, it. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't know where to put that. I don't think I have to give an apology. I think you do. Uh, I don't, I don't want I do. us getting cancelled. Uh, by who? Anyone. I might cancel you because <laughs> I had to. Yeah, because I, I told you the story. Just you, you give, give a recap a not of the story of what happened though. Um, we, I mean, you asked me to tell a story. I did. I asked Kamel. And I told, I told a story. You told a story. Yeah, I told a story. It wasn't a story that I don't. I, it wasn't a story that anyone was expecting. Yes. Uh, but it was. I don't know if story gives a like a fake connotation or right. It was a true story. Oh, okay, so you can say, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was like facts. Yeah. It wasn't just a made up Kumail scenario. Although, it would have, I feel like it would have been better if it was made up, because then you could be like, okay, at least. I can sleep at night. Yeah. At least this was, you know, this was somebody's imagination. Not Demented yeah. imagination. <laughs> oh my god. And you have. I think those, I think those are the better ones. Those right here. Okay. 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 Jeez, look at that mess on my side of the... It looks like a real Lego setup though. This is gonna take some, oh, it's gonna take some time. It's probably not a good idea to tell you that. We should be fast today. We should be what? Fast. Okay. I mean, no, I'm kidding. There's, there's no way we can be fast. We can, we can, I, we, we can be. I think being fast is relative. It's right. Like it does. Well, do, I am your relative, so yeah. No, I didn't mean it in oh, that context. Okay. I meant it's relative to how big the bag is. Oh, I see. Yeah. You don't need to become my relative. We are relatives. The bag needs to become relative, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's good? What's new? Outside of... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, royal scandal. Outside of that, what's new? Royal scandal. Interesting choice of words. Thank you. We're making some good progress, wow. At least that's how uh, he thinks. <laughs> what's his name? I said outside of that, though. What else do we, what, what else? I don't think there's much else new going on in the world. That was the big, I guess the big headline of uh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I say what else, meaning I'm not trying to talk about that. So, let's talk about if Black Widow comes to theaters. Would you go? And this is like yeah. two months away. And by then, it's coming in hot with the dad jokes. I know, I'm practicing. Gotta, gotta stay sharp. She calls me hot. <laughs> Trying to lighten the mood, because I feel like you're gonna come up with some story again. <laughs> I didn't come up with that story. You, I mean, you'll remember something you've researched. Researched. This uh, is why I stay I off probably, the internet after like 11 p.m. Yeah, and I, I think places. I think that story was after. Uh, yeah. It was. It was late. It's one of those late night adventures. Yeah. On the internet. So absolutely nothing's up. That's sad, man. What about you? Do you have anything? Uh, I'm getting back into model make, model kit making. I feel like you said that last time as well. I know, so um, the usual, you, you know me, before I get started, I, I like to buy a bunch of stuff for it, right? So I've, I've been looking at paints, I've been looking at airbrush, because back in the day when I used to do it, everything I do or did was loosely tied to whatever my brother did. Like, you know, I just worshipped him, so everything he did, I did, yeah. or tried to do. But back in the day, we, we painted with brushes. 
but now obviously um, it's a lot more affordable to get airbrushes. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try that this time. Airbrushes. So you you, you load paint into a uh, airbrush gun, and it has and you put a compressor. You oh, coat it with a compressor. Like CO2. Yeah. Um, so it's like it's uh, like a sp spray spray paint. Yeah. It's spray paint without aerosol. Oh, okay. Which is bad for the environment and just really hard to control. And I think spray paint, like, I don't know, people use it in land raising fields? That too. Mostly. Mostly. I know no, some I don't people think create mostly. art. Yeah, there's a lot of some decor people, yeah. art. And some people create art with it. Home hobbies or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. The same playlist. That's nice. This is a nice song. And of course, the really bad side of me is like, what if I make a video out of me making the models? I'm like, nope, nope. I've already slowed down this hobby of Lego making by making videos out of it. Like yeah. a video to post or a video for yourself? Probably to post. I mean, it would be cool for me to see it myself, but then I would want to post it anyway, so I might as well just admit that I want to post it. Yeah. What, what model? Oh, so, uh, obviously a big Star Wars fan, but I chose to go the Star Trek route. Because there's plenty of Star Wars stuff I've done lately, obviously in the Lego world. And I was like, there's no Star Trek Lego, so I, I want to make models. Oh, and then the other idea, this is where I am going to ruin it for us. There's some sets that we're, we will be making in the near future, Lego sets. Yeah. So I'm like, if I were to make the model of it, we can do a compare and contrast in our review of how good or how close it looks to the real thing without having to go find a Batmobile or a... Saturn V rocket, which we can oh, try. Okay. But we there we also have a model on hand that we can get a little more a miniature, closer details. Um, yeah. And, yeah, miniature model. Um, what do you think of that idea? Is that something you'd? Has model making ever appeased or appealed to you? I don't think I've thought a lot about model making. Mm. Um, I know it's probably different than Lego. Quite it's like it's yeah. an actual. You can actually mess up real easy. You're, yeah, it's, it's more on the With artistic side. And skill. Yeah. You do need skill. Not that you can't learn the skill, but you do need it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. What else? I made some really delicious chicken corn soup yesterday. At least comes out that was delicious. We we're both feeling a little under the weather, so I'm like, yeah, let me see. So some chicken, chicken corn soup. Yeah. I remember once Zen came by and made some chicken corn soup. It was not good. And it, it was not. No. And Zen and Tom was like, yeah, I am. This is this is. Mm -hmm. And I got just tell me how it is. <laughs> the texture is interesting. It's like, as soon as someone uses the word interesting, you know that it's, they're holding back. Yeah. You like cooking stuff? Um, no. No, you don't. I, uh, to be honest, Barbecue? I don't. I can't. I can't say no, and I can't say yes because I don't think I've tried that often. But so it, I don't. It's know not appealing enough can, to try. Um, or it hasn't been appealing enough to try I, yet. I feel like I've just like not ever given it thought. That's interesting. But I would definitely. I would love to try that. Barbecue or is that just? I have. I have. Zulfi run. No, I have. Okay, that's have, cooking. Yeah, um, but like you know, in the kitchen, like um, making I don't know some like very complicated oh. dish or like you know plating it, said like stuff oh, like plate, that. No, I have yeah. not. I, I have can't not do done plating. I um I wonder how important plating is in restaurants. Depends on the caliber of restaurants. So yeah. I think this is for us 
South Asians slash Muslims who go to halal restaurants, we don't appreciate it as much because we go to places that are usually tend to be fast food-ish and or family style. So we just want, yeah, I mean, so we just want like, like, wait, to go to a Chinese restaurant, they give you a big dish that's, you know, for all of us to share. Yeah. We're not going to be really concerned of how it's plated or how it's At that point, they don't either care, I think, to plate it all that Yeah. Time. I, I don't think I've gone to too many places. I mean, when I used to travel for business. You have? Yeah, there's, I, I didn't care, but I would go to places that they would plate. They would get, they would give a lot more attention to plating. Yeah. And like maybe I just didn't appreciate it that, that much. Or I didn't care to appreciate it. Because usually I was jet lagged and was concerned, Mo like, what am I eating? Yeah, mo most of... Uh, I, I feel like most of the stuff I've seen regarding plating is like in those like cooking shows or like Master Chef yeah. or like Gordon Ramsay shows where he goes around to like different restaurants. You know, I don't think I've ever really seen any of his Hell's Kitchen or whatever it's called. He is very famous. Well, you know why he's like he's famous. Well, he's a he's a he's a world renowned mm -hmm. chef, but also right. it's like his. His like I guess his attitude or his like the way he, like he swears a lot. Full dot. Ah, uh, yeah, like shouting all full. So um, I think that's why people also find it like entertaining to watch. But I will say the 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 kitchens that he does um, go and like try to help, mm -hmm. they are very badly run. Their food is like terrible. Sometimes like in the kitchen. It's like dirty everywhere. They like sometimes serve rotting food oh, that's not even like okay to eat. So I can understand when he there, gets there, There's this other British dude or Australian. I always get those two accents mixed up. Big dude, kind of. Good guy. Buzz no, 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 that's not him. Anyone in the audience who I know, they all, all five of you watch Food big, Network. Big dude. Yeah, it was Kitchen Impossible. I don't think I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, you've already built this? Just the other. Okay, okay. It's Kitchen Impossible, dude. There's like some... Kind of looks like a weightlifter, bodybuilder. Uh, he might be German or something. I don't know. He's, he's some... I think he's, he's English. Okay. But he would go into the restaurants and like... Try to like, okay, like let's redo the restaurant. Let's redo the menu. Let's redo the process. To make this restaurant better yeah okay. but my favorite food show is uh guy fieri's diners drive-ins and dives i i haven't i've seen some of the episodes um i haven't seen too many but it seems like it's a very like fun it's very uh, fun it's very i yeah. like that he's uh going all around the u.s and also, some of the stuff he eats looks stuff I want to eat. Not like oh, it's beautifully made and like you got this special part of the cow that's only in this special part of Zimbabwe. No, I, I just want food that you know is attainable to me. Yeah. And he goes and yeah, and enjoys there's a, it. A few of the restaurants he went to that I want to try, but I can't right now. Is a he went to a diner, like a breakfast place in Brooklyn. Okay. So I was like, that's awesome. That is 25 minutes away from us. I want to try that. Yeah. Okay, can you check 134? I don't know if these are supposed to actually lock in anywhere. No, they, they float. They're just sitting. Yeah. Nice. And if it goes in, that's the same thing that I built on that. Oh, that was, Thank you. Fix it. Go. Which one? Which one? Which one? What? Which one? What? It has to be done fast. Which one? What? 
That's not that bad. Sounds like a like a tongue twister. Okay, we have to be very careful not to tilt this. There we go, okay. Which that works. Okay, so this one goes at the end like this. Knuckle putting on a little piece. Oh wow, okay. So I had a, no, so this goes this way with uh, these two here. Ooh, okay. This is supposed to be on the other side. It's just supposed to be flipped. But if I take it out, all these are gonna fall out. No, actually, if I take this out, I think it actually. Has I have a discussion on some topic. Let's see if we can do it. Almost like podcast style. Do Do you have a? I don't. I mean, I, I do. And I don't. Well, like, what do you like? You have one, but you don't know if you. We should. Should we throw it out to the audience? I'm kind of scared of. They might have to make us talk about stuff that we're not comfortable talking about. On here, I mean, if they, then they should be willing to talk about it too. Oh, they're probably willing to talk about. It. I'm saying we probably are the, the puss brothers that are like. Oh. Well, like, like, wh like, what's the topic? We can I don't know anything. No, but you just said that like a topic that we would not be willing to talk about. No, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, I um, can't say that word. Orara. Orara. God. Bad orara? Yeah. I'm just shooting the shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard it. You've never heard of that? No. It's when people like get together and just like talk about everything but not real. Oh, but 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 tell me about it. Gupshap. Gupshap, tell me. Believe how easy it is for this piece to fall out. Oh yeah. Maybe we throw that out to the audience. Oh, yeah. now, is there a topic? I'm so. Here we go. Okay, nice. So this one goes. Here. At the same time, I'm scared of getting into like a really long discussion with you. With with. Either one of us, because it does get distracting when you're building. And this is the one we've already noticed that it's one mess up and we're screwed. Yeah. Okay, so this. Oh, <laughs> Apparently, the wheels don't turn the same. Uh, but, like, the mechanism in there really doesn't, like. Allow it to be flipped. It, yeah, it, no, but yeah, it doesn't allow it to be flipped, so that's why I'm wondering, like, why was it. Why is it doing that? Or it was designed in the way where like they both turn opposites. Not sure. The only thing is this car can't drive. It can't move forward. Oh, is this uh This is 143. 138? 143. All the way up to 143. I don't think I have 138. That's fair. Oh, okay. Is it me or does that look, look at the desk video? It really looks like we're making Lego. Like, this is what you imagine like half your table is full of Lego. Yeah. And you're just. And it's taking you forever to get through uh, one build. I. I you know, like when we wanted to. When we wanted to make the. Do like that big film with the Coliseum or the, um, the Star Destroyer. It is going to take a long time. 
the Lego the Lego Labs portion. Yeah, and I think we've discussed will we be live streaming that? Because like, the Lego Labs portion might be quite different, and it's gonna be quite long too. Or maybe we just save it for you know like as a surprise almost. One forty two? One forty three. One forty three, okay. Forty four. See this goes inward, it sits up here, no. I think I'm making the front axle. I think so, yep. So I, I'm not, I'm, so I'm starting from the front now. So we made the back. And now I'm kind of starting from the front. Okay. And then, uh, this is on. Did I give it to you? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I put this in. I did that. Oh, okay. This one's already done. Alright, this is part of it. Let me get you the rest of the pieces. This one had some weird. <laughs> weird like harpoon yeah it looks like a church <coughs> tower <coughs> I promise you I don't have COVID yeah one door after the okay another one oh you have to touch that one right yeah so this was Yeah, see, so I'm just like the... What? This axle is kind of doing the same thing. If it's doing the same thing, I feel a lot better. Yeah, because maybe it's we're overthinking it for some reason. Yeah. It will work, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> we're not the brightest people, <laughs> but it works. So, moment of truth. I no. think it needs a little more. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So they're, not, they're both individual. They're both individual? Why isn't the other one individual? I am so nervous. This one's it. not individual. This one is opposite. They're linked? Yeah, they're linked, but they're linked to go opposite directions. Uh, okay. These... One more of this, and then two, yeah, this is one, two of this. Okay. 
What's for dinner? Uh, I don't know. Probably like dal chawal and kheema. Oh, most likely, I think. I was like dal and chawal. That sucks for you, but then you said kheema. Kheema, yeah, no, very, I think uh, it was just dal chawal. Yeah. I'm okay with dal chawal though. You comfort like, food? Yeah, like um, more like like a <coughs> turn it into like a swamp or like dry. What? Turn it into swamp turn. or like dry? What happened? I was turn it into a swamp. Yeah, like the dal chawal. Like have put to a lot of dal where it becomes like soupy almost, or or no, just have little medium. dal. Medium. L- little, it's like it gets too dry. Uh, yeah. Too much dal, it's just too wet. It's like yeah, it's, it's too soupy, and it's like as if the chawal are like a topping now. Yeah. <laughs> so you sprinkle some chawal on top. You need that. Like it needs to be a little bit on the wet side, but not almost creamy. Creamy. Is that the right word I'm looking for? Did I give you the wrong piece? Uh, the 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 gray one. Is it supposed to be longer? It's not gray. Okay. No, uh, on 151. Is that set minifigure scale? We can look that up. I don't. I'm not sure. Sh- I don't think it is. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. It's, it's actually. It's actually quite. It's big. Quite big. Yeah, it's 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 quite, it's quite big. 2,500 pieces. Wait, are you looking for the this one? No, 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 no. It's 151. Oh, I'm like, I don't see no, it. No, not that. That one. That, that, is, it, is it just this? Yeah. Okay, so then uh, why does it just look shorter here? Welcome back, Ryan. Good to have you. Okay, that's so this just goes on these. And the bottom doesn't. Okay. I do not see one of the shocks. finished a new show a new show for me but it's an old show Star Trek Enterprise so when it first came out it didn't look appealing to me so I didn't watch it I got some pretty bad reviews they did yeah I started watching it about like two three months ago and like fell in love with it I thought it was just really really good watched the ending and I was like okay yeah that was pretty cool but something in the back of my mind was like, uh, was it though? I started reading some reviews from back then, and people crapped on it so bad. And like, oh, this this is just horrible. Um, and I thought about it. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. You know what? Actually, it is a little bit of a letdown or a cop out. Pretty much, they they took a more popular Star Trek series. They invited two of the stars from that series to come for the series finale of this series yeah and they made the story around them to uh, using holographic technology to look at Star Trek Enterprise's last mission so it's like the actors and the characters weren't, aren't really there it's just their holograms are playing out what happened in there and it's like ah okay I, I can see why people would have issues with that but Okay. I still enjoyed the show. The journey was greater than... Was so it, it, it was... It was the sum of all parts are better than the individual parts. <laughs> so what am I trying to say? What am yeah. I trying to say? So um, the, uh, the individual... Nolan, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, so, so the individual... Uh, what do you call it? Like the individual... Episodes? Episodes, they were... They were how many episodes are there? Four seasons and about like, I say all together like ninety seven episodes. Ni- uh, oh wow, so it's long. Uh, and uh, how long is each episode? Forty two minutes. Okay, so it's it's like a not a feature length, but a full length. It's a, it's a good size. Yeah, show. Your, your typical Star Trek. Yeah. Lego Joe, hi! I subscribe. Thank you. Okay, I'm I'm feeling this love. Yeah, thank you. 
Okay, each time any of you subscribe, um, Kumail's going to tell us a riddle. I'm going to tell us a story. He's going to tell us a story. I am going to vet that story, I promise you, before yeah. he tells us a story. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, I know we shouldn't be talking about other companies who potentially could sponsor us, but they haven't sponsored us. But I, I came across this subscription model online learning thing called brilliant.org. Br brilliant? Yeah, like brilliant. Yeah. Um, what they do is they teach math, Kind of science, but maybe a little physics, but mostly math, computer science, and anything around you know that realm. Let's say it's uh, it's not purely STEM, but, but like it, engineering. It, yeah, like light engineering, but mostly it's computer science and math. But I'm taking a logic course right now. The logic course gives you word problems to solve. Oh, so it's just about th like thinking logically. Yeah, okay. but when it came to words. I was getting like 100%. When it came to numbers, I couldn't pass like half the... The numbers were math problems? Yeah, or? Uh, like factorial based type. Uh, what was it like? I, I can I can bring one up pretty soon. Yeah. Can you get me to 500? I'm at 425. All right, Joe, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. We usually try to don't cross pollinate on channels, but we'll, we'll check out your channel. So, but a lot of these problem solving things, problem solving things, problem, problem solving, critical thinking problems that are word based. Yeah. Are very fun. Yeah. Like it, it, it's satisfying to like really think through it. It helps you like, and when logically. you, yeah. And when you're, when you get the right answer, it's like, it's rewarding. Pure pride. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. I, I am the best. <laughs> I am the best. I'm ready to send people to Mars. Exactly. And then the next one you fail at, you're like, ah, oh, I hate myself. <laughs> yeah. Life sucks. I, 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 I was thinking, like, um, I think, uh, you know, whenever SpaceX, they, they launch their shuttles and then have them land again and they're working on, like, new technology and stuff. It must be so rewarding to, yeah. I don't know, work on that and see it happen. I think more than SpaceX right now is what happened a few weekends ago with Pathfinder. What is it called? The the rover that landed on Mars. Perseverance. Perseverance. Pathfinder. Something else coming up. Um, because what is it? NASA was working on that for 17 years, 23 years, something ridiculous like that. And on all, Perseverance. Yeah, and oh, wow. a lot okay. of the core team was there from day one. So think about working on something for that long. And even though you've run the simulations, you've run the numbers, you know that you know most most likely it'll work. It's actually seeing it take off, land, yeah. go all the way there, land by itself. And they said that because it's so far away, they can't. Um, uh, what do you call it? They, they, they can't like control it remotely. Okay. So they have so everything has to be done by, you know. Um, Math. No, everything has to be done like. What, what do you call it when something controls itself? AI? Auton Autonomously, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, everything, so the rover landed itself, like basically descended into the atmosphere itself and landed itself. And then now they, they're testing a little like helicopter that's on board. A drone? A drone. <laughs> no, it's like, I don't know. It's like, it comes out from beneath though. Like the, yeah. like the Perseverance drops it and then drives away. Takes and then it takes a poop yeah, and, drives. and then drives away and then it flies around I'm um, oh. guessing I don't know collecting well not collecting samples maybe like looking at the landscape sending I think pictures so, yeah. that is really cool though that's so awesome uh, and this is why I think if you're into that type of stuff I, I really think you would enjoy Star Trek because yes there's, there's sci-fi aspects of it there's Hollywood aspects of it like okay we need to have green colored aliens and bikinis just to get that type of audience yeah but they're always asking like if you once you get past that they're always asking like humanitarian questions they're always asking you know can mankind humankind become better than they are yeah and without like without demonizing humans without 
belittling where how much progress we've made. It's just like, okay, it's in the future where mankind has enlightened itself. But some of the stuff that we face on Earth, you're facing in space now. So it's like the same... Same, but mankind's mentality is different. And in some episodes, they go into past, and you should, you should really see the contrast of, like, okay, we're humans. Were, were and came from. Basically, where we are now and where they are. So, and to, to make the point, it's like, we're getting excited about a rover landing on Mars, the next planet over. And they... they they kind of sorry I'm going way slow when they create yeah they're they're, they're they highlight some of the stuff that like hey you know this this small achievement may not be a big deal right now to, to the people around but it laid down the gra- groundwork for bigger bigger better stuff yeah. and it's literally I hate saying this word but like yeah we are living history right now with some of the space exploration stuff we've seen in the last year or two, two. The COVID. That's more I, in bound. I'm talking that's about that's in uh, inner planet. Yeah. Inner planetary. Yeah. Outer planet. Yeah. Something like that. I uh so, like um, speaking of history. I read this thing where somebody said that. Hold on. Do I have to vet the story? Vet what? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. It's about history. I it's just not. say a lot of history is dark. Yeah, I know. So basically, um, he was saying that ev- like it, every year, history classes are gonna get harder. Yes, yeah, true. You have to you have to literally go through more. Yeah, and material. I, I don't want to say reassess, but maybe like take some stuff out. Like you don't need. No, to okay, okay, look, like okay. Look. Here's a weird example, right? We all know we all know that JFK got ass- assassinated, right? Yes. And we all know that who shot him. What we don't know is the details and quote unquote the conspiracies behind it. Let's say the day the government finally wants to reveal the conspiracies behind it, right? That day, all the history books have to go back and be updated. They have to be, be like, rewritten. I wouldn't say rewritten, but either appended or added on. Saying like, okay, well, this is what we knew up till this point. And now this is what we know. After the revealing from. X, Y, and Z yeah. paper by the government. This is now what we know. You can't just wash out the previous history. Yeah. Per se. Um, like, what if... So, So I, I read that now that in schools they're teaching that um, when kids learn about, like, dinosaurs, they're teaching that they had uh, feathers. I heard about but that when, recently. But when I was yep. in, they, they never said that. They're just like, you know, they don't have feathers or anything like that. But now they are. So that's kind of like rewriting it, right? Like, instead of saying that they but don't have feathers now you're saying that we have we have probable cause that they did have feathers so i think to me now i you know I'm, I'm not saying i might be splitting hairs with you to me that's not rewriting that's updating in the sense that like hey there's new facts or new theories based on research because mm-hmm. this is in the science room yeah yeah uh rewriting to me is like oh, i don't like i don't, don't want to go to an extreme or anything but it's, just, it's, it's like like you're re- literally rewriting history or you're like changing the past that's rewriting? Like, let, let's say that somehow in the future america's citizens look down upon the american revolution for some reason rewriting would be saying like george washington franklin all the founding fathers were, were terrorists that's rewriting to me instead of saying they were freedom fighters that's not updating yeah, that's, that, that's just changing a view on it versus feathers versus leathery skin. It's like, oh, we have more facts now, so we're passing all those facts to you now. Yeah. You know, like those people who are like a couple hundred years ago that the, earl- the world is flat, but, you know, then science came and proved that. A couple hundred years ago? Yeah, a couple hundred years ago. Okay. <laughs> hey, it was the vast majority back then. Now it's the vast L- minority. Luckily, <laughs> <laughs> luckily, it's not the vast. If it was the mass majority now, that would just... I feel like we'd be... Mind-boggling. I know, but like we'd also be in it too, because we'd believe it too. If it was the mass majority. That's... Yeah, that's true. Uh, a lot of things are... What, <laughs> what the Kool-Aid is. Yeah. 
Like some people say that the moon landing was fake. Yeah. Oh, there's so many conspiracy theories about that. That you know they they shot it in a studio and everything like that. Um, Are you gonna make a elaborate yeah, on that so, point? Oh, okay. so, um, no, I, was I thought you're just gonna let that no, hang no. there. Like I was just okay. So I believe it. <laughs> uh, it's just like I guess a, a lot of the things they don't have. I, I like I haven't researched into it, but I don't know if the I think the moon landing does have proof, right? That they have they have like samples of I believe so. like moon rock and stuff like that. So they I have no idea what I'm trying to cut the apart. Okay, so one one thing that would be brilliant to see is you take a flat earther right now, and someone sponsors a fifty million dollar ride either on Starship them, or on the Galactic street. Virgin, or Virgin Galactic. Yeah, and just record the entire experience. Like you don't have to shove science in their face. Just like look. And tell me, and look like the, the flight pattern will be that we're gonna go around this flat surface. Yeah. Uh, tell me how you can see Africa, how you cannot see Africa and the United States at the yeah. same time. So, so what would be what would be their point in doing it? Like to to prove? Yeah, to like we're not we're not we're not gonna argue it. We want to show, show you physically, you, like you interpret yeah. what you see. I the, the thing, and, uh, and I'm not saying we would necessarily convince them. I would like to see their reaction. Yeah, I th what what I the the problem that I see there is that um, it would kind of come back in a circle where they would do that to that person, and maybe that person's like, yeah, I believe it. Like I can see the Earth is around, and then they come back down, and when wh whoever this footage is shown to. Uh, and if it's this, if this footage is shown to any other flat earthers, they're like, no, this is fake. Okay, so it'll turn into a conspiracy. Theory. Yeah, it, that will turn into a conspiracy theory. Yeah, itself. I can see that. It's kind of like that, a or like they, they never took them. Yeah, they filmed it in a studio or yeah. something. That, that's true. Okay, so the, that side of ignorance you can't ever really fight. Yeah, you the can't, innate you ignorance can't. that people like only can ha like they have to deal. With, an individual has to deal with that ignorance with within themselves by themselves and, and like, like i can't convince you you have to convince yourself type yeah because that that's more of like your mind has shut off or shut down <laughs> no, no i'm trying to be respectful <laughs> right it's like you know there there might be a 0.1 percent chance that they're right but i'm gonna lean on the 99.99 percent that they're wrong yeah and all the, you know the scientists and all the people who like spend their lives studying this stuff the, the, I mean, I know we're kind of going back to that video that we saw together. The one aspect of it that really resonated with me was oh, that that that, uh, that video. Yeah, the one where they were debating. Yeah, one of the scientists said that. What do we have to gain? And like that's at the end of the day, like from a lot saying of it, from saying that it's round, what do we have to gain? Yeah, or saying that it's it's flat. flat. Okay. Yeah, or or for saying it's round. Or for denying that it's flat, what do we have to gain? Oh, okay. And, and I know within that there's a Pandora's box of conspiracies. But if, if if you were to sit down and logically think for like an hour, can someone actually benefit from calling the world round or flat? Flat. I, I guess it's really you're... hard to come to a satisfactory. I, I, I guess I guess you could benefit in the way where you you use that science or that like fact. Okay. to build upon other facts meaning like for example i'm sure when they're sending rockets into space they have to figure out the trajectory right mm -hmm. by doing math and a bunch of other calculations so I'm, I'm i'm guessing the math will be super different if the earth was flat to if the earth was yeah. round escape velocity would yeah be totally yeah different. exactly so i guess like so they would have to kind of use that fact as the basis of their calculations to build upon to build okay upon. true if that person your your stance on that though or the if that person was to have that opinion they would have to be a scientist they would have to be in the realm of making rockets or aerospace or you know any type of that type of engineering mm -hmm. so it's like if you're not in aerospace you're not going to be sitting there doing those calculations yeah even yeah, okay yeah, yeah you could do the theoreticals if you want in yeah. class 
But at that point, if you're that educated, most likely you would be understanding that the world is not flat. Yeah. So, like, to me, it's like your argument is true, but that's kind of giving them too much credit that they would actually be in a position to do those to do those calculations. Like, like, oh, just like just regular people, yeah. not people who are actually working. Yeah. on I was just saying that, like, science, like w when you figure something out from science, you usually use it to like, you use that as a as as like another tool as, or, or, like to an, or like another like launch pad. Yeah. Right. Like you use that to get even further. Yeah. yeah exactly. So so if somewhere down the line, if your science is wrong, then I, I'm guessing your future calculations would be wrong too, right? Or like your math and all that stuff I would just, get wrong. I, I don't think your initial calculations would ever be vetted. They would they would never prove right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you can't even build off of it. Yeah, them, exactly. Because because when you're trying to prove it, it won't it won't make sense. I'm. This is a subject I love talking to you about, and it's kind of related. Yeah. And I, I like talking to you about this because. I think you have a level-headed view on this, but you're not an, on one extreme like I am, which is conspiracy theories. So, let, let, obviously to set, set up this conversation, okay, it is a very difficult conversation to have because it is so easy in this day and age to fabricate anything and make it look convincing. Not 100% irrefutable, but make it look convincing enough to Fool the untrained eye, and it can mean anything, right? Like, like here, here, here's a weird analogy that I've come up with when it comes to this. We see all these cooking videos, and people are making all these dishes, you know, pasta and chicken tikka masala and soup and steak, right? Mm. It looks good, and the rest, and the recipe is like, oh, okay, like you do this, do this, this, and this is how your steak comes out. You and I don't know actually if that recipe is good. The video or the pictures that it accompanies with it could be altered, and you and I know this, to make meaning, it look better. Meaning, like you, you, beautiful lighting, uh, really good. Like they, they they do that in commercials. Oh, well, for like, sure, for commercials like, like cereal, McDonald's yeah, and, and yeah, cereal. Like they'll use like maybe glue instead of milk to make it seem like you know yeah. better. So yeah, they um, they, or in they like alter pancakes things. they use motor oil instead of it, syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it it looks yeah. it drips better. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, that was a, a kind of, you know, I understand that within that self, you're kind of cons creating a conspiracy, right? Yeah. But part of it, it's also the, the trade of whatever you're doing, right? Like for, for motion pictures or for video or for commercial making, that's part of the trade that you realize that, hey, I, I, I can't have a chef sitting on, um, on set busting out a bunch of pancakes for me so because once i mess up i need a new batch i need someone who can make a really beautiful two or three sets of pancakes but i need that to last and look fresh throughout my movie right or my commercial so okay i need to spray it with hairspray so it stays that way yeah then i need then okay like the the what do you want to call it the syrup is it really going to eat into the pancake? So I need to do something that won't really eat into the pancake and it needs to drip beautifully, very cinematically. So, okay, I need to do car oil. Mm -hmm. So I get it that I'm painting a false picture, but I'm also being paid to make something look the best. So all that aside, right? Like, I don't want to get into that. Like, okay, well, so-and-so does it in, mar in marketing, for marketing reasons, so it's okay. I'm just talking about pure conspiracies about certain facts are wrong or certain facts have been presented to us wrongly like, like illuminati aliens stuff like that okay illuminati aliens area 51 roswell uh ask any uh, half the stuff that people talk about uh, american politics or american history right yeah like oh it's just a conspiracy this never happened oh yeah right we, we've heard the extremes we've heard the <laughs> minors 9-11 yeah. didn't happen. Holocaust didn't happen. Like, like those type of conspiracies where people have read data, they were not t their data, right? Let's just say. Uh, yeah, through their, yeah. Or their own information, maybe not even data. They weren't there to experience it. They don't have anything to, to substantiate it. So I'm talking about those type of conspiracies. Uh, number one. 
where do you think why do you think they're so appealing to the broad audience right now? i think conspiracies stem from curiosity okay like every single human is curious that's just that's almost like an innate nature okay like if you don't know something you want to find out if you're interested in something you want to find out so when stuff like this arises where there's no clear-cut answer people try to make clear-cut answers they try to uh, make they try to understand the situation and that's where conspiracy that's where the theories form we're like oh it could have been done this way or it could have been done this way but it's also to like satisfy their own their own their own conclusion so meaning meaning th th let's say someone doesn't like a government okay they'll come up with a conspiracy theory that makes the government look bad so that so, it satisfies their preconceived and that's some of them I'm not saying all conspiracy yeah. theories so, so okay may maybe let me rephrase what you're trying to say just so i understand okay that people are trying to make the narrative fit to what makes sense to them some of them yeah 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 i mean Pretty obviously much, yeah. we're, we're, we're painting with broad strokes right now yeah um okay I, I i can i can follow that to a certain extent yeah uh to me it also especially this day and age stems from kind of what we've tried not to do with our videos on such a minor scale about what other people do in social media and like media clickbait or sensational sensationalizing things right worst thing ever made this technique we, we both know that's not the worst thing ever right but we're, it's, we're it's trying to get clicks or interest it's yeah. trying to get people to and trying to get interest yeah um is this okay yeah i yeah i think so i didn't what number are you on 177 so like 173 and 173 one two yeah and then th and then this one yeah right here because like yeah this yeah, one yeah. goes right there i just want to make sure before i put it away and there was three and there's three here and there's nothing on the bottom no man there's nothing on the bottom and there's nothing on the bottom here okay so it's like trying yeah to... i hope <laughs> i think i think it is uh okay where was i conspiracy theories yeah okay so to get the conversation going again like so one aspect and and i might be you know a little ignorant to this whole world because i've never read into them and whenever i do i'm like oh that's interesting like in, from an entertaining point of view and there's I, that too there's that too but then i leave it at that yeah, yeah, yeah. as entertainment so so i like, think oh, that, that, that'd be cool it's like kind of like alternate universes or a multiverse type, yeah. type situation but it's not like oh so like to me a theory it's something that you have to run your scientific experiment against to either prove or disprove something, right? That's a theory, yeah. But uh, yeah, like a hypothesis. So like, like yeah, you, part of your theory has a hypothesis yeah. to it. Um, but when when something is, if I remember from my science classes, if when something is proven, it is proof that theory is strong. It's never turned into fact. Because there's always a that, point one or a one percent chance or whatever the number is, depending on the situation. Like the Big Bang could be. I think the Big Bang is an example. Where yeah, like it's still a theory, but it's like pretty, pretty much, much proven, proven to the point where it's but, like. But in science community, that you still call it a very strong the, like theory. A, yeah, a theory. Yeah. So to me, is then like theories are meant are meant to be kind of like looked into as guidance, as like yes, most likely ninety nine out of a hundred times this is truthful with the statistic or the whatever you want an anomaly of a one percent chance that it might not be true yeah so when you apply that logic to a conspiracy theory right it's like how do people make that into a fact then uh, th within the definition of theory is that or you know that it's proven that this theory is most likely accurate you can't never say it's fact i think it's like like 
so the most recent thing right like with the whole stuff going on with the royal family like how there's some people who were saying that what Meghan Markle said during her interview was true okay. and then some people like who we were just discussing before yeah you know he he, he said um, that it's not she's lying she is like he kind of he's kind of turned I don't know like I feel like what she said could now be turned into a conspiracy theory right like where some people are like what she said was true other people are like no she's lying this was all made up this is all even though th there's no way to prove that so 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 the whole unless you ask in, in, in this situation it gets even more muddier because your two variables let's just say are humans and humans tend to lie experiments with controlled variable uh, with, with a bunch of constants and one controlled variable right usually cannot lie because the laws of physics are applied to it the law it's like yeah yeah the laws of physics on someone's tongue is never applied there's no like, yeah, there's it a could law. be it could, becomes a he said she said yeah. or you know like a rumor you said uh, uh. this i said you said a i said b and then now there's no way to prove if it's a or b yeah because you know who do you believe yeah exactly the queen or the yeah. yeah we don't yeah so that's where it gets yeah to me like that be, that's, that's to me that's where it becomes slanderous slash scandal <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and like, I think scandal is a good way to say like conspiracy theories that in, involve humans. Yeah, it's like you don't really know what's going on because you can't ever. You don't want. Like, you don't know you what's gonna what's happening, but you're gonna watch it and yeah. have some popcorn with like, it. Like like in an experiment, there's like you know how there's like an independent variable. Exactly. There's a control variable. Um, there's like a bunch of constants. There's a dependent variable. There's constants. So you, you and you have like a. You have a variable like like the like the control variable, meaning you're gonna use you're gonna take your experiment and dictate it against this control exactly, variable. Exactly. Yeah. So there's Trying like to prove a point. there's like me there's like measures put into place to make sure it's accurate. And if that's it's a word. human, how you that's can't. the key word. You're trying to measure stuff. Yeah. And when it comes to words, you, the only way you can measure stuff is by the persona, right? Measuring the truth, truth of something. You measure it against how truthful that you know yeah. to that person to be. I guess like then in journalism, like fact checking. Where you li where you literally research a, yeah. you like how and, and you know how like there's scholars who read books, yeah. dive deep into like certain types of knowledges and stuff. Um, I think that could also be a form of like fact checking or like figuring out if something what was said is true. Your what, 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 yeah, your, your interpretation, your yeah. political view of it, your religious stance on it. Like there's so many factors yeah. to it. But okay, back 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 to like this whole like. Uh, I'm going to say it. I'm very anti political theorists. Like, everything is fake. We're all plugged into the Matrix. <laughs> the government's out to get me. The Russian spies are The Russian spies. Oh, okay, I mean, I could believe the Russian stuff because stuff gets hacked every other day by Russia. <laughs> but I just, you know, I have such a hard time. Like, I, I'm willing to give benefit of the doubt that the truth that that we think we know might not actually be the truth so I, yeah. i'm willing to accept that that the picture that's been painted for us might not be true but someone's version of what they think the truth is is where i, I get lost like no that's that, that's your opinion <laughs> so how, how how would you get to the truth then? like the actual so, truth so to me i think there are some certain truths that might just not be attainable me mind. meaning like there's certain truths like that are like a coin like there's two sides to that truth or or it's like a truth where matter it's, perspective it's a, so that means it's like your truth yes or like each person has their own truth or on it, that subject or, or, or the quote-unquote conspiracy is so deep that the conspiracy might just be an arm of a bigger conspiracy that you know what at that point i, I will never know exactly what happened so then might as well go back to living yeah. my life. So maybe like, like, um, like an example I would give is maybe like aliens. Some people believe in aliens, some people don't. Same thing with like ghosts, right? Some yeah, people yes. believe in ghosts, some people don't. And um, I think a better way to tackle that is ghost encounters. Okay, yeah, ghost encounters. Like yeah. some people believe that they've had a ghost encounter. Some people believe something else happened. Something, yeah. So th that's like... And like, when, when, when there's a lack of of evidence one way or the other to prove it or to disprove it where do you stand right can you you, do, you, do, you can't do, stand on no, almost but, but the, the to me the logical thing is to not take a stance yes exactly Don't, to not stand what i see in people is like 
And let me stand with the party that best suits me. Or where my mind is going. You're looking for another one. Yeah. yeah okay. I, guess, I guess that does make sense. You know, like, oh, I'm an anti-ghoster. So I'm going to stand with the science yeah. team that like, the ghost exists. Or like, oh, I'm very religious or something. Or, you know, X, Y, and Z. So I believe in ghosts. Yeah, there's definitely a ghost encounter right there, right? It's like, either way, the, the evidence is lacking on for both sides. Yeah. It's how you're interpreting the evidence yeah. is your stance. There's some, yeah, there's some things that there's never going to be a so to, to me, clear cut like answer. Maybe I'm being naive, but to me, it's like, well, then why bother taking a chance? It's almost, it's, it's a coin flip. Both sides could be right. Both sides can be wrong. Yeah. This talk is really resonating with me as well. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Okay. I want to say something controversial. Oh, I want to bring up a controversial point in the sense that people get really offended when I bring this point up. Uh, a lack of, I don't want to say just education, but a lack of education and a lack of world experience and a lack of maturity. Do you think the three, those three lacks or lackings of play a part into believing in conspiracy theories? I mean, yeah, because you're, it's like, it's, it's the same thing where like, if you're, if you're not educated on a subject, you're and, and more, I'm not also, to me, education isn't just high school, college, university, graduation. There's more to education too. Like you, a lot of people are getting these papers, but don't know anything, right? Getting what? Oh yeah, 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 these, yeah. these degrees. Like education is also point, like, it's like, like I don't know how to say like wisdom, intelligence, or like what you took of that information and what you got out of yeah. it, versus just like I ingested a bunch, regurgitated a bunch onto a on, test, on, on a test, and then it's 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 out the other. But year. I never really comprehended Understood. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think like no, I think that definitely plays a role. Um, if you like, I, I feel like. Um, if you're not well educated on a subject, then you're more, you're more likely to, I guess, believe something. Cause, Make assumptions. Yeah. Because also like, because like also the the like having like a lack of maturity or not having enough world experience. Also, your mind hasn't, you have, since you haven't experienced that stuff, you don't know how to logically think through it. Yeah. Like yeah yeah you're like you're like logic center, I guess you like it's it hasn't less developed. developed. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you don't know how to think through it. So. If, if something like um, if something is I don't know if, if there's a conspiracy theory that people who are more educated are like no this can't be true but if there's someone who's not edu as educated they might be like yeah this makes sense to us yeah clearly because they might be more ignorant on that subject or they might not know and sometimes it's not even ignorance it's just uh, unaware yeah there's a lot of times where just, I could say I was ignorant on something but maybe I'm being too harsh on myself. I was most likely unaware of something like, oh, there's this what's behind the painting, right? Type situation. Well, it's like, okay, well, that's the painting, but what's on the backside? A lot of people never care. And then sometimes the message from the artist, sometimes it's the conspiracy theory. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> you know, whatever, the, the date, the, the artist's signature, a message, a call for help, or whatever. Um, that doesn't make you ignorant, but you were just unaware and you. Maybe your ignorance was to not check, but you're not truly ignorant. You just, just didn't. You just didn't check. Yeah. Yeah. Can Can you look at 188? I have no idea how this goes. Hmm? Like I, I like underneath, right? Like go underneath. 188. Yeah, 188. At the bottom. It's like that. Yeah sits at the bottom and and this goes after i know how this goes on but uh it sits on the bottom but it doesn't go on the top it sits on the bottom or no it does it go on the top yeah. oh yeah it does like there but where is the quote or does it just sit it looks like it just sits but how because it's not going back what like all the way up no, because the... Yeah, there you go. I don't know what you did. Oh, there's two little knobs. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> okay, there were two little, like, knobs over there. Uh, 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 yeah. But 
like they're very very loose okay if you believe that for you to be true try your best to research and and disprove the bias theory there you go mustafa dropping some knowledge on yeah. us yeah that's true J just like I, I feel like i feel like if you if you really believe um if you really believe that your theory is true you won't be afraid to research against yes. it because you're only going to you're strengthen your yeah, own exactly view. you're only going to strengthen your own like like faith in that, yeah, yeah in that theory it's when people are like no 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 this is true i don't need to i don't need to look against it. i don't need to look at the other side of the coin this is just true then that's where it gets like then like that's where it gets problematic like, yeah i guess how, like that that means like even their own faith in their story is not true they're just kind of believing it for their own that's reasons. yeah it could be that too the reason why i, I want to talk to you about this is i feel like you have a lot more patience with conspiracy theories and with conspiracy theorists versus i am I I, I like this is this is my bad, but like, yeah. I I don't have patience for it at all anymore. Yeah, because to me it's like, and then I am willing to accept the fact that maybe I'm wrong in my thinking. I, I, like throughout, like you know, with what I'm about to say, this is like there's just too much in life already that, like, I don't think a conspiracy th theory. Or an uh, all-knowing group is controlling everything or not controlling anything is going to help me pay the bills or find happiness for myself, for my family, for my loved ones. Yeah. Or bring self-worth, satisfaction, confidence in my life. Right? That stuff I still have to address. And let's be honest, in this day and age, it's not easy to find that. It's not even easy for a parent to instill that into a kid that be more confident, right? There are other factors in the world that will bring your kid's confidence down or their happiness down or whatever. Yeah. And yes, there's extremes. Or like, okay, how do you define happiness? And maybe your definition of happiness is too extreme. All that aside, it's probably healthy for every human to do introspective work and figure out like, okay, what do I want from life? How can I achieve it? And is it something worth attaining? Yeah, like um, so. Like, like, there's so much of that going on in life that I'm like, I don't, I don't. For me, I could be mentally slow. That like, I don't have the brain cycles for. Was JFK shot by the government or not? Yeah, like for 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 me, it's like it's more of like a. Fun, like it's not like not fun, but like like um. The entertain. The entertainment it's, it's, it's like yeah, for me, it's like the entertainment aspect where like I look something up and I read about it or I read the, that conspiracy theory. And, and it's just like fun seeing their like how they came to that conclusion what the theory is okay. how it links to the actual event stuff like that but at the end I'm never gonna be like oh yeah I hundred percent believe this. this is true and like I need to start following this right now it's more of just like has there like a ever fun been read a, almost has there ever been a conspiracy theory that you're like really got you thinking like oh snap I think I kind of really do believe it. I feel like the only one, but this is a, this is like such a mainstream one, and even now, and I, if it, there's if no it's, full if faith. If it's controversial, in it. you don't want to share it. No, I that's can't. fine. No, I don't. No, I'm just saying, giving the option. Yeah. Like, oh, so, wanna. so, so, no, this one's so mainstream. I believe the Earth is flat. No, no, no. no okay. <laughs> um, so, um, the, my, my, the one that I would like used to think about, it's super mainstream too, and um, I'm still not like, like I, I don't have any like like thoughts like oh i can't sleep at night how is this yeah. working yeah so it used to be like that's not a computer <laughs> yeah it, it was like it was like stuff to do with like i don't know like um stuff to do with like illuminati and like freemasons and how they tie into hollywood and stuff like that there was some stuff that i read um and and like none of this stuff can be proven by the way and i'm not trying to prove it so i'm not I, trying so, to prove so, it too so to me this is where i'm splitting i'm gonna split hairs with you that's not a conspiracy theory Per se, it, it, it's a known fact that there there is was the a free. group of p individuals. But do they tie into this notion where like the Illuminati controlled Hollywood, like all this? That's why it's a little more theory. Yeah, exactly. That, but I just like 
one thing that uh, sorry I'll, I will let you finish your thought in a second but it's like it's almost factual that they do exist they did exist at least can I prove who it was probably not um, so from f you know to your point that aspect is very entertaining to read up on like oh yeah yeah I wonder yeah. if Godfather would have been made if it wasn't for Illuminati I'm yeah. making that up I have yeah. no idea um, but you take the entertainment aspect of it you move on with your life because it's like does it change no. the Godfather does it change Hollywood no. unless you discover like all of this is so they could you know steal your money at night somehow I don't know but you yeah. know, then you're like oh okay no I, I have to stop anyways go ahead um, so like no what I was gonna just say is that um, it's like something that like I don't it's it's like the closest thing that I've got to to like really thinking about but again there's no way to I don't know there's no way to prove it at least there's no way I know how to prove it so it's more of like a fun think I don't know how to say that a fun yeah thinking yeah but there's like so many there's like what there's like flat earth there's aliens there's I don't know ghosts could be counted as conspiracy theories um there's like so much there's like uh so i said to me there's those shows have you okay so have you seen those shows like ghost encounters so i don't think that those are conspiracy theories well, like what what yeah so they're what? not theories what are because like they don't really show you the ghost they're not like oh yeah. like, they're not doing that <laughs> like they're not doing that type they're just I don't know, I, like, when you start filming that, I don't know what their goal is. Like, you have to show something. It's entertainment, right? So it's playing up a lot of stuff. Kind of like how we were talking about, like, clickbait. Like, crazy reactions. Yeah, I, like, oh, look at that. There's a flight. There's a, fl I don't know, like a like a floating orb in the corner or something. Um, it's just, like, crazy reactions. So people watch it. <laughs> and at the same time, if you, and one of the producers, the director might actually believe in it a little bit to give them a platform to study it further mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like loose evidence gathering like okay this isn't a scientific experiment to measure against but here's some additional information yeah like a lot of uh i feel like a lot of oh one for me can you like can you look at this <laughs> One eight. Oh, what is it? One eighty-eight. Actually, it's just the top. No, no, so, no. One eighty-nine. One eighty-nine. So do you see how like that gear goes in the middle? Yeah. So it won't. It like literally won't line up. Like it won't line up to actually go through. Which, oh, don't do that. No, nothing. Nothing oh, no. came about. <laughs> Did I give you the right gear? I might have given you the wrong gear. Is this a smaller gear? Look for black. I know there's two sizes of blacks. Oh. Or is it a gray one? I mean, the gray ones are big. This looks too oh, small. Oh, looks too small, okay. though. Okay, it lines up perfectly. Okay, so it might be that. Is that black or gray? Well, that looks black. <laughs> Shoot. D does it have, like, the... No, it's not the green one. Look at, look, look, look at 189. Uh, look how much it's protruding out. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's. I wish there was a easier way to tell between gray and black, like a clear cut way for like, okay, this is gray, this is black. Remember a complaint about. Um, black instructions after the Porsche build um, Lego said that we're, they're not gonna make any more black instructions because plenty of people complained about it that it's a different it's like difficult to see against it with yeah. the Porsche the, the Porsche 911 and other wait isn't that weird wait is that the gray one no this is the black one and it really looks like a black one yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm thinking. It does look like a black Unless one. there's another small black one that I didn't notice. Like, I don't think so. No, I 
exact the same thing. It does look like this. Well, what if it is? You could maybe try the gray. Like, does the gray actually fit? Yeah, the gray ones look like this one fit. So then... But I'm sure because since there's only one gray, it'll... It'll be needed. Somewhere else. Yeah, so then, like... We might not get that in our objective. Yeah, it's definitely not gray. So how does the gray fit so good? <laughs> Don't know. Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't fit? Oh no. Oh, I think I think it is the gray. Why? Because the these side ribs, they don't go all the way to the edge. They stop in the middle. And the gray one These are two. Look at them. Oh yeah, it is. No, it it is black. That's a black piece. That's yeah, not a gray black. piece. It's actually not. Oh, yeah, there you go. You just gotta line this up. Oh, so that it sit. Wait, it's, yeah. So that sits lower. So it sits in line. Oh. And it was the it was this piece. Okay, well, I guess we don't need these. But shouldn't it be in the center? Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. But yeah, that's... It is, uh... It's weird how that how that works. Don't worry, Jay. There's just not enough clearance. Like there, there's a lot of Lego between. Is it maybe supposed to like be lower? It doesn't mm -hmm. look like it though. Is it this? Yeah, that's not gonna work. There's no other. It's all the same, right? And yeah, they're all. Yeah, it's definitely not the gray piece. Is is that supposed to sit? This low? gray and that gray are the same. Like so the instructions says it's gray, but that's definitely black. Is this supposed to maybe sit lower? Like this piece somehow goes lower? I, I might I might have sat it on the wrong thing. Maybe that could be that piece. It doesn't look like that. Yeah, it looks. Oh, I don't know why it won't. And this is the mechanism to turn the wheels. Does it show that it's supposed to be in some optimal position? Mm. Uh, can I see it? I think. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh. Yeah. Do you see how from the side it's like leaning up? Oh, yeah. It's not sitting properly. That piece is not. Oh, it just came down. You just leaned it down. Yeah, but it's it's being forced up. Maybe so it's right, not sitting properly. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. That it's not it's not actually sitting properly. Or maybe it's not supposed to click anywhere. It's just supposed to rest. We could try that too. Oh, you know what it is. Oh, I, I'm I'm fairly sure. These nubs. We're probably supposed to come from the bottom, oh. and then they're sitting up. Okay. Because there's no nowhere for them to actually sit on. Okay. 
That makes sense. Hi. My favorite part about Lego building. Figure using logic to yeah. figure out how to troubleshooting and critical <laughs> thinking. Yeah. If only there was a job for me. I'd probably be miserable. <laughs> yep. Wow. Job better. So now, okay, so now it'll, uh, okay, so now one of these black ones go through and this, yes. Okay, so, so it's just that, it, yeah, yeah, it's here. That's the whole thing about Lego, it's, you're never supposed to need extreme pressure. Yeah. A little bit of pressure, obviously. You might have to turn it so this thread and that thread line up. There you go. So now these move, this moves side to side oh. to turn these. I think they might always just be, I don't know why these are not individual though. Uh, same thing. I think it'll be, I think it'll be fine. So this. Oh. What? Watch this and watch this. They're in the same way. See? Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, oh, so they God. are. <laughs> oh, maybe I can. Uh oh. I'm going to try to speed up. Oh, good. Mm. Is it the square one? It's not the square one here. Oh, that's why. Stupid. Shall we continue on this talk or should we change subjects? Oh, we can continue on it. It's interesting. Mm, how did this? Okay, it goes through. Does it go all the way through? Oh, it does. Here's a bunch. Okay, so this moves the wheels, but this moves the steering. Yeah, nice. This is actually like uh, th this steering system is more complicated than like the one in than, like your standard. How does this go in? This goes upward. Oh, you build till 198. So 199? Yes. Okay. Uh, it comes from the front. Up the way. Cool. Um, engine. Engine's a heavy one. So conspiracy theories. Very, very interesting. It's it's always intrigued me. The human aspect of it, not the fears themselves. Yeah, I think it's just it's it's like a form of entertainment for some. For some, it's a way to answer unanswered, or unanswerable, unanswerable questions. Which is weird because then a lot of people say then that 
with that logic applied the same logic can be applied to religion right some questions in religion aren't that's exactly what i was about to bring yeah. up like like i i was um i was listening to these like people they were talking um and uh, they were um like one of them was jewish one of them was atheist and like i think i think three of them were atheists and one of them was jewish and i was just listening to them talk and they were like talking about like they weren't talking about a specific religion but they were talking they were talking about the whys of religion like why this why that yeah so one of them said that like like that at least they believed that religion was there be- to to answer the unanswerable meaning like who created us mm-hmm. um um where do we come from? Where do we come from? Where stuff. Did, where did everything come yeah, from? Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. Like, um, some people say that like religion, at religion answers that, but of course, like, um, uh, I think the person who said that was atheist, and she said that it's it's just it's just a way. It, it might not necessarily be true. It's just a way to control people. No, to control people, but like to give them like to to to. Like, like she said that like like the the like like a god figure or like a higher being figure yeah. is the, just there so that you can put your faith into something so they have something to believe in. Okay. But that was her stance, the stance but of but a person who is, doesn't believe in a religion. But that's true. That is the basis of religions is believing in a higher being. Yeah, but she said it's just like she almost said it like as if it was almost like a way to make yourself feel better okay like and also she said like like religion also answers like what happens after death right if you don't believe in a religion you're just like i'm whatever yeah. i'm i'm dead but if you believe in a religion it answers what happens after death you know like each religion has its own has its own you know my fun fun a-hole response to that is yeah either way you're gonna find out <laughs> yeah <laughs> So just wait and see. Yeah, just wait. You gotta find We're all out. Gonna find <laughs> out. <laughs> We're all gonna find out. Then at that moment you're like, oh shit, I should have. <laughs> yeah. Do you think okay, so this is kind of crazy. Do you think death could be used as a conspiracy theory? Like, maybe we don't really die. And I'm not saying I'm not saying I believe in this. I'm just saying. No, no, I'll expand on that. Uh, like like as I wanna in, make sure I understand. As you. in like like death can be used as a conspiracy theory, like how? Like maybe it's like someone could say like, maybe we don't actually die, we we wake up from the simulation or something something to that effect, right? Matrix like uh, like anything like that. Um, I think there could be because there's theories about everything these days. I think there could be. Wait, so what's the question? Is do you think there are theories out there, or do you think most theories are right? No, no, no. Like I'm just I don't know. I was just I think I was just um pointing out that there are like yeah. theories about like everything and. And, um, yeah, Elon Musk like or death. someone recently like yeah we're most likely we're all plugged into some type of reality fake reality or something there will be people I mean you know people there will be people that believe them I think it all comes down to how much weed did you smoke how we, how much weed how much weed did you smoke oh yeah I know I'm being facetious yeah. on purpose Because it's like, it's it's weird. I'm willing to 110% accept the fact that governments and or big bodies of people are willing to cover up stuff for, at the very least, self-preservation reasoning, if not for the greater good argument, right? Or like that's their argument at least. Yeah, that, exactly. That's their in their mind is made yeah. up. Like, hey, we need to protect. <laughs> this is the greater good. We need to protect. Yeah, other people, people aren't ready for this. Yeah, I'm willing to accept that. It's when you get into the actual conspiracies where it's like, that's what you came up with? That's what you think the government's hiding from us? There, there was a joke that at um, Area 51, they're keeping, they're keeping, um, oh, this hand, no, no, they're keeping hand sanitizer that kills 100% of bacteria. <laughs> you know how it always says it kills 99%? So that was just a joke. It's not, it's not actual. Yeah, yeah. It's not an actual theory. Thank God. Maybe it was. Maybe it should know. be. Could have used it these days. Yeah.
I also have a feeling that people, and sometimes, you know, you know the saying, little knowledge is more dangerous than no, no knowledge at all. Should I say it again? Little knowledge is more dangerous than no knowledge at all. Meaning, meaning how you're you totally ignorant, that right? little knowledge? No, it's, yeah. If, if you're, if, if you know, and we see this a lot in, in young people, because, you know, we, we all get, not even us, but even younger than us, we all get really like, oh, I, I know how to do multiplication. I, I am everything or whatever, right? I read this book. I know everything now. I, I'm, I took that one class in college. I know everything now, right? Yeah. Um, the idea is that, you know, when you have no knowledge, you're dangerous. But when you have little knowledge, you think you have more knowledge than you actually do. So you're even more dangerous because your stances are based off of actual some of the facts. But it's not or, or all knowledge. of the, but it's not but it's all not of the, the, the depth or story. the breadth yeah. of the knowledge. So um, if you're trying to, so that means you should always do your best to get the full scope. No, I think that the, the lesson on that is, is you always have to be learning. Because the idea is that you will always learn something new. Like, I did not know. Oh that. yeah, you can never, you can never be done you learning. Never, you, you'll never be all knowing, right? Yeah. But uh, to, to me, a lot of this conspiracy theorism does come in a place of people like no let me tell you what the, the reality is because i know and it's like a lack of continuing your i don't want to use the word education but you know what i mean like that self-improvement that let me educate myself it's like oh God. kumail you don't know about the government let me tell you about the government this is what they're really about they're trying to make us pray to pigs and eat <laughs> pigs. quinoa all day <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I was hoping for coming up with something a little better, but yeah. <laughs> um, but like, like, I think the second, like, like to make your to connect to your point earlier, right? That we're all seeking knowledge and answers to stuff that we don't know, huh? be it on a macro level or a micro level of our life or of our, of our experience in life. So what ends up happening, in my mind, is the second you stopped gaining or trying to gain knowledge within your realm of whatever you're trying to figure out is when you're like you're all at that point you're always left because you don't have full knowledge right you have partial knowledge so you're maybe you answer one question but then a second question pops up like okay that makes sense but now but because now, of that question i have yeah that like, question. what about this yeah so the moment you stop is when like okay well no that doesn't make sense and let me try to explain it myself jump into conclusions if and you, then you, you jump never to stop. Something, you yeah, jump. if you never stop, if you're always continuing your self-education, you will never have these weird Cause questions. Because you'll always, you'll always be like, seeking. Oh, okay, yeah, I got a new question. Let me yeah. go find out more. Because oh, you'll question. always be seeking the like the answers. Answers. I can't say if it the truth. You'll, you'll be almost, seeking. You won't. You, yeah, maybe I, you I won't think, get there, but you'll be seeking it. I think we're. That's fair to say that we're always all of us seeking some type yeah. of truth. I feel like you know when you're also seeking truth, you have to be true to yourself. Yeah. Meaning like I don't you know. don't. Meaning like like I don't know, and also if if like like your your I guess your ego your pride yeah. doesn't take over like like oh um, I studied enough I know. Yeah, like I studied enough I know. Um, it should be more like I actually want to know more, and I understand that I maybe might not know enough, but that gives me room to find out. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, I think that's my theory against conspiracy theories is like when you stop seeking knowledge is when you jump on these ideas or whatever you want to call them. What number are you on? I think conspiracy theories are also a really easy way to answer something without searching into it. Yes, because it's like, it's that, could, that could make sense. Uh, so it's easy. It's just, That's true. it's just easy. I actually read that there is like scientific truth to jumping to conclusions because your brain scientific truth what do you mean it's not that? scientific truth but like it's been studied why people jump to conclusions okay. and apparently it's because the brain wants the shortest way there so if it can all if it can adopt i know my brain works yeah, like that for sure like if, if, if it can adopt a preconceived notion as truth it'll just take it like okay this is this is true i don't need to go searching for it this is true interesting and the, yeah so even if it might not be um, correct
I, I, I wonder, you know, like, how the justice system around the world tries to, you know how they have to be like, yeah, we're going to figure out the truth? Oh. It's like, okay, what is the truth? In certain cases, maybe in some I'm places, sure. it's like, we know that you're, you're the murderer, like, right, right? So, but okay. in some cases, what if it's really like... I'm going to tease the subject, Yeah. and then I'm going to go for a walk, because I've lost blood flow into my lower <laughs> okay. half of the body. But to that point, right, I'm starting to get really concerned about, you know, justice by your peers. Like a, a peer-based justice. Like jury? Jury. jury. Right? Okay. Um, which doesn't mean that, like, okay, I want one person then defending me. And you know why? Well, what really kind of got me thinking lately? The cop who kneeled on George Floyd's neck. Right? We all know the story, what he did. And then the people around him who, who stood there did nothing, right? Yeah. He's about to go on trial by jury how do by you jury how do you get a non-biased jury with for a person who whose story everyone knows now there's uh, 75 80 90 percent of the world knows what happened because you, you can't you can't right so think the about judge, that for a second the judge can't be unbiased either no but the judge at least is educated theoretically yeah i'm gonna let you Prickly on that, I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Okay, I am losing <laughs> toes. Flow? Oh. Huh? Using blood flow? Yeah. <laughs> Try to bend over and touch my toes and almost fell. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to Why the discussion at hand. Yeah. Any new revelations? No, I, 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 mean, I thought about it. Okay, a little bit. Yeah. I can give you 30, <laughs> solid 30 seconds to think about it. Um... It is very difficult, but it's also fair that, you know, a, an unbiased jury of your peers, of your community, have your verdict for whatever, right? I, I wonder what the selection process is. Like, at least right now, how do they select? Because yeah, I don't know. Like, how many people now can be like, I don't have an unbiased opinion about cops, right? After what happened over the summer, it is really hard for your even pro cop to guy to be like, yeah, there might be some people in the law enforcement who are racist, right? If you, if you think that 100% of the cops are not racist, you're probably yeah. not living in the right world. So so for me, um, two summers ago, I, I think I have, you might know, I took like the, like the, like, I don't know, I don't think it was a boot camp, but it was almost, it was almost like a boot camp at the local San Ramon PD. Um, I did not know this. This is awesome. I think so. So it was just like you, you get to see like, uh, you get to see their methods, how they do all their work, their detective work. And then you get to, um, we got to go down to like the local jail 
Uh, really? And, yeah, and we got to see like fully the dogs and like all the way how they use tasers, just all the stuff that they do. Can they tase you? No, this what? Um, I, I don't think any of us were. I think there was a liability or something. Yeah, I'm they sure. They were gonna tasing of the kids. So there was this one segment. Tasing of the yeah. kids. So tasing <laughs> of the. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear that line. So so essentially there was this um, one of the cops. He was giving like a presentation, and they were just showing us clips like body cam clips. Of like cops do like I don't know either like arrest or like the procedure to arrest somebody or how you get it how how you get into a house stuff like that. So um, there was this one clip where the like I don't know what happened but I think the one of the cops in the clip he was like he did something like unjustly I can't remember what it was but it was unjust and then the cop uh, he told us that. Every single prof- like every single profession has its bad people, and he said that doesn't mean. And he said that it doesn't. He said that yes, in cops, there are bad cops that exist. There are racist cops that exist. There are cops that abuse power and they abuse the law and stuff. But he said not all cops are like that. Um, so I mean, you're probably coming from a very logical benefit of the doubt point of view, right? Yeah. And, I'm I'm, I'm yeah. talking about now. Okay, so you're. And I'm not defending anything. No, that I know happened. exactly. You you you're, a, you're, yeah. you're coming from a more academic. Yeah, I'm not defending anything that happened. How do you get eight of you? How do you get what? Eight of you, to be on the jury. Eight of what do you mean? Eight, people? like-minded people like oh, me. Oh, I don't. I don't right? know. I don't know. How, yeah, that's so like. What's the selection process? And and, and I don't know. To to use this is really bad of me to use a line from one of my one of my favorite shows or shows I really enjoyed watching was House MD or how that the doctor was you know House Holmes Sherlock Holmes House he was like a detective doctor where he would figure out by deduction how to oh, okay. cure people it was yeah. really fun yeah. show um, but his mantra was I only eat 8 ounces of beef a week mm, you know a lot of people are like no, no no i'm pretty healthy I, I i work out yeah you know go up the stairs and make legos i work out yeah but like there's this shame factor in us or whatever the reasoning may be where we're like no no i'm not that bad or like i, I i've been pretty good yeah so his, his whole thing was like okay well people lie so i can't base my uh hypothesis or my, you know, reasons of deduction off of what people are saying because they are not a lie. If my first basis is off of a potential lie, I, I have no throw. ground. I have no ground. Throw. Everything else yeah. after it. So going off of, you know, that mentality, and I know it's extreme, it's Hollywoodized, but yeah, you know, most people, what number is it? One, two, 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 seven. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, and then maybe I'm just being way too cynical, how do you trust people to tell the truth? Or it's like, you know, I, I want to do, I want to do service to my community by being on the jury. So I'm like, no, 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 I don't have a biased opinion. Oh, there are some good cats. Is that bigger? Yeah, I think bigger. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying? Um, how, how do you vet out yeah, I guess lawyer, that's what the lawyers were there for. They're good at asking these questions and the, or the judge and the lawyers together. Like, yeah. I'll get to vet out a good jury. Maybe I'm just not educated enough in that department. But it's just like to me, that's like kind of like seeing how the world has turned out. How do you trust people? Yeah, and I think, I think to that point, there's also those cases where someone gets convicted and put into jail and then later it's find, found out. They, mm-hmm. didn't, they didn't actually do it. So then that means they... They were telling the truth, but the whole process of figuring out the truth had some kinks in it. <laughs> uh, had some faults in it, and that caused them. I guess that ruined their life. So, it's you know, it's complicated. Yeah, it's very complicated. I, I, uh, I, I think I'm sure on like okay, so judges and views. So, so this is where to me where my interpretation of all this is. It's really not a black and white scenario. It, the the system that is existing right now. There is room for gray, and sometimes that gray matter benefits you, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. 
Well, I, I wasn't expecting you to agree with me that <laughs> that clearly. Oh yeah. Okay. There, like, I I just being on um, I guess being or being in a position where you have to figure out what happened, and I don't know, like tell. And there's so many ramifications the, to that. Yeah. Someone's freedom or someone's livelihood or someone's life. Yeah, Jeez. and and you have to figure out what happened. Yeah, I'm not saying I, I would shy yeah. away from that. It yeah. is my duty as a, not only as a citizen of a country, but as a human that someone should be allowed that due process and that opportunity yeah, to that's good. either be proven innocent or to, or to be remain innocent or to be proven guilty. It's but, just how, like but, get, yeah. getting there. It's, and it, it, it is difficult. It's not like, it, it's a difficult thing to, uh, it's a difficult thing to go through. It's like, I'm not blaming the justice system of America of doing a bad job. Quite frankly, I think they do a better job than a most lot countries. Of countries. Yeah. But at the same time, there are these like things where like it's difficult for anyone to overcome it. So, and unfortunately, with a lot of this stuff, because of humanity's history has been so dark, um, sometimes, well, not, not sometimes, it's still a work in progress. We're still trying to figure out the kinks in the system. I think it'll always be a work in progress. I don't know yeah. if I don't know if we're ever gonna get to a point where like, yeah, this is this is uh good. I don't think that's ever gonna happen or exist or anything like that. Cause because like humans are not perfect, and as long as we're not perfect, we're never gonna be able to figure a lot of this stuff out. So which then kind of goes back to my personal theory is that lack of perfection coming from this whole need of lying. Lack? I think it like like I, well, I'm just talking on a very like human level like so, so, as in humans are not perfect in so, any way. So part of that perfection so, so a lot of the the issues are I'm still looking for my second one of that the, the gray one. Uh, there, you'll need one. Oh, jeez, I've been looking at <laughs> yeah, I do that too. Too. Sorry. Yeah. Um, a lot of, a lot of the problems, are, and I'm generalizing for sure, but a lot of the issues that I'm seeing is interpreting, right, maybe not interpreting is the right word, but pretty much trying to determine the person in question either guilty or not, uh, if he's a defendant or if he's being defended or being prosecuted or whatever, yeah. are they telling the truth or not? Like, oh, there's a lot of that, right? So when, when the question about telling the truth, the, if you put it on a coin, right? The flip side of that coin is that, is that person lying or not? Like, like the thing that I can bring up um, is there was a uh, th there, there was a student, he was like in high school and he was um, an up and coming uh, football player. Like he was so good that people like, you know, teams were looking at him right from high school. Everybody knew that he'd, uh, I think everyone knew that he'd get into the NFL mm -hmm. or into one of the big uh, football leagues. Okay. And um, like he was preparing for that, like preparing to get drafted, all that stuff because he was very good. And I'm not sure like what happened, but he got accused of assaulting a girl. Okay. And then they this whole thing went to court, and um, he lost. Okay. So her, like he lost, and then he spent thirty years in jail. And then the only reason he got out was because the girl admitted on I Facebook remember. Remember that she, that what she said was not true. So now, now I'm not saying all these cases are like that. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about this one specific case. It's so difficult to determine the the, the truth of things. So, so, so to, to what you're highlighting my point is that a lot of it comes down to, not all the time, but a lot of it comes down to is it, it's, it's, it's a matter of truth and your perspective of interpreting who is telling the truth, who's more capable of telling the truth. Like, yeah, but how would you know who's more capable of telling the truth? This is where That's the misconceptions and biases come in, right? Oh, this was this guy happened to be African American. So racism. So no, I'm asking, like, was this guy black? 
And yeah. Yeah. So and the what yeah. what have we seen this past year? A lot of people tend to think, oh, the black guy must be guilty. Ergo, he's guilty. Ergo, I should shoot him. Ergo, I should stop him from his civil rights. Like all this stuff, right? That systemic racism plays into the whole like, well, then should I be trusting what this guy is saying? Yeah, and then you. So th that's like. So there's a lot of things that can cloud uh, truth as well. So preconceived notions can cloud. They they can cloud oh, yeah. truth, as you were saying, that's like being wanna... educated or yeah. having a a solid basis. How, so I wonder when they're selecting people to be judges and juries and stuff, how do they how do they make sure that they're mentally sane or or they're like they're logical thinkers? They're not like well, leaning one way or another very heavily. Judges, they're like, I think they're. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, their education yeah. proves that. Yeah, I'm yeah. Um, look at juries. And that's what I'm saying. There's no right answer, and I'm not trying to cast doubt across the board uh, although on... Although I do feel like a judge is a human. They could be racist. They could be. They could be. Like, uh, but, okay, so he, here's... They're the, humans. Here's the, here's the thing, though. Yeah. Is oh. it... The... the I don't want to use the word pious. The good person, the, the enlightened person, can be biased, can be racist, but not let that influence their decision. Like, hey, based off of the facts, the evidence, and the arguments given, this person by this system is not guilty or is guilty. Even though they, they, what I might think... They can. Right? And that's what they can a be, judge is supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, they can be. They can remove themselves from that... Their inner emotion. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, I think it all comes down to, are they doing that in that moment? Yeah, that, see, that's, that's like a truth again, almost. Yeah. Like, see, you can't figure that out. That's what I'm saying. Almost like the bane of our existence. Yeah, you can't. Line. Yeah, you can't figure it out. It's, it's 246 right there. Is that gray or white? I do not oh. see a white one. <laughs> it looks good. I don't think there's white. I don't see a white at all. Maybe it's gray. I think it is. Did I give you 245? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh... Do you want to go on a quick or some more quick power play and just kind of pick up some steam on this? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, there's nobody. Would you like to? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. There's no one talking in chat anyway. No one giving input or it's all good. Maybe they're just listening to us. Like a yeah, like a podcast. Like a podcast. That's that, that was all right, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back in maybe 15, 20 minutes or half an hour. We will be going on a power play in which our mics will be off, but you will get to see us building, build, and enjoy some music in the background, please. All right, yeah. see you guys all on the flip side. Bye.
Hello. We're back. We are back. I need a real Land Rover. My dad also really wants a Land Rover. He does? Like a, I've, or like outdoor. I've been told never buy a Land Rover. Why? Someone was like, the amount of money you spend in the first three to five years to fix it, just you never want a Land Rover. It's not worth it? Apparently. From what I've heard, I, I can't substantiate that. Yeah. Okay, so then so at the bottom. <laughs> So we've come to a consensus that we will be building until seven o'clock our time and then continue this for another day because this is big boy as you would say it's taking a lot of uh, time Just texting someone. Select an address from the drop down. Hotel. Your dad just had me sign up for a service that is asking for my address and it's gonna. And it's gonna what? It's stuff for a neighborhood, so I guess like they sign up to say, like, I'm a photographer in the neighborhood. It's gonna show where I live, but just the street address, not the number. Kind of sometimes gets me scared. Like, oh, a photographer lives on this street. That means his house has a lot of photography gear. <laughs> you you know I've had some bad experiences in the past. Yeah. So. Yeah. Those are some interest. Well, they're not. They're. I guess they're interesting to tell <laughs> that it's happened. <laughs> I will chill, say that for another day. <laughs> yeah. Not interesting to live. Nope. Or go through. Like, honestly, the, 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 the word I'm looking for for that was traumatic. It traumatized me. Um, to the point where, like, What point? Like you don't like those types of interactions. You're like wary of them. Oh yeah, totally. Well, someone convinced me like just don't sell your camera. Just keep any camera you buy. Keep all your old stuff. It's not worth it. And I'm like, nope. I'm gonna agree with you. Because if it gets stolen, then does the camera go? And is that and everything? Do you think someone was fucking with the pop on? No. So my phone was commenting.
You know, for a person who takes a lot of videos and photos of people, I don't have any decent photos of myself. Do you like taking photos of yourself? Do you no, like I don't like taking photos of myself, but it'd be nice if every once in a while someone would come and say, you know, what do you think? Like, like headshots? I do have a headshot, that's true. That's a very good point. I didn't even think of that. Which I took myself. This it's, is it's what I like to say, like yeah. selfies on steroids. You know, you're taking your head, own headshot, but it's it's like a selfie, it's like a but selfie, it's but it's not. A selfie. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Okay. This is like doing like surgery. You know, here you have to like move stuff around in a particular way. <laughs> oh my god. Some dude's like any neighbor neighbor photographers I moved to San Ramon about six months ago due to the pandemic. I'm I'm unable to explore the city and take selfies outside. I'm looking for a photographer to take me headshots for me for LinkedIn. And possibly, and possibly dating sites, but I'd be happy to pay anyone know of anyone. Your dad replies to this guy, please reach out to Atif at 510 blah 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 blah. Won't be disappointed. <laughs> well, then, so I guess your dad exposed me. <laughs> I guess if you want to, you can. that's awesome. <laughs> And then, oh, yeah, I wouldn't mind taking headshots of people again. I want to get a headshot of you. So it's like, to me, taking headshots of like people, and especially family, it's like almost like a hobby for me. Like, okay, I, I want to take a nice picture of Kumail. It's not like about, I want to make money off of Kumail or I want to make my portfolio. It's like, it's like a more personal thing, if that makes sense. Because um, I know the, the only, a lot of my al al album, no, my contact, photos for people or the headshots I took yeah. so it's just like when I look at it it's like oh okay it's nice the one I have of you I remember when I was taking headshots and this was years ago so you were really younger like three or four years ago now um I don't know you were being shy or something so you didn't you walked in for like literally 30 seconds I was able to take off two the one I liked you're kind of like there's a lot of head space and like your chin was very close to the bottom of the frame yeah. so like uh -huh. I, just, I didn't get time to do. I don't. I don't know. I don't like pictures being taken of me. Or, oh, or, sorry. I just threw that. <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh, somewhere over there. <laughs> My bad. Like I don't take selfies of. But like selfies. Like I'm. I don't know. I'm not interested in selfies. Like taking your own picture? Yes. Like Same with here. a... Camera. Yeah, yeah, I'm not into that either. But having a good picture for yourself does boost a lot of confidence. Ask Planet Earth. Uh, I did a few different rounds with them. Some were for LinkedIn, some were for... Uh, I had like two sessions of LinkedIn, I want to say. But then one we just did of him where his, his hair was let, let down, his beard was really let go, and it was more like grudge. I think I've seen that. Yeah. Um, and it was just it was fun to do but it was it made him really happy and like if you make someone else feel really happy about how they look at themselves like it really does feel good because there's a lot of like a lot of us in the world kind of have issues about weight looks whatever it may be so if you can help someone feel better about themselves i'm like i like that yeah you have to to uh to what selfish reasons of my own no. I like making other people feel good <laughs> okay where does this go on to so there you go see 
Sanders. Oh yeah, it's one of the headshots. If you were, this, this is gonna be weird. This is gonna become a, let's either jump on Atif or let's therapy session for Atif. You've seen my headshots, right? Yeah. And I'm not gonna pretend like they're amazing. I'm not gonna say they suck. They are what they are. If you could do that quality headshots, you had all the gear, would you do it for a living? Would I do headshots for a living? No, not sorry, not, not as a living, as in that's the only thing you do. Yeah. But as a side hustle, side gig. Yeah. As you like would? A side, as like a side, yeah. Yeah, it's like to me, I'm just like, ah, it's not worth the effort. And then I, I, then I ask myself, what's not worth it? If it's $100, let's just say for a session, and I, I, I shoot them for 15, 25 minutes, and then I edit for another half an hour. Let's just say it takes an hour, hour and a half. For hundred bucks, that's not much work, because like it's not, it's challenging, but it's the fun challenging. It's not the, oh, this sucks. Yeah. Challenging. I I feel like I would like taking, for for um for a living, I want to do like, I don't know, if I could like. I like, still show it off to people, and it changes their sp perspective of me. I think it starts in me. Yeah. Or me. I don't know. <laughs> Like this whole con do you I don't know if you've ever tried to monetize on anything and then you, you, you get this whole like is it worth my time? And it's just like I think that's part of it is just a mindset like you can if if I do it five times, even if it's over six months, it's another five hundred bucks I wouldn't have had. Yeah. But to me it's like, oh but all that effort for five hundred bucks, uh you know if it, I can make thousands if I do something else. Oh, if, if, if I invest in uh, digital currency or if I do in the stock market or bricks pros or something, right? It's just like, I can make more money. But it's like, you know, I can also do that too and still make another 500 bucks. Yeah. Like I have this mental block somewhere where it's like, mm. okay, this is a weird topic to end off in. We'll, we'll talk about it for 10 minutes and then we'll maybe pick it up later. Yeah. I texted Bai the other day. I was having this like low point in my mental thinking ability. <laughs> Follow me for a second, okay? And, th and this is not a. I think there's one more of these. Which ones? These. I think that's the thing that flew away. Oh. Okay. Were you able I to think, grab it? Yeah, but I think I put it. I think I put it. Oh. Back to, okay. Yeah, you were saying. Um. If I got fired from my job tomorrow or today, God forbid, knock on wood, nothing like that happens. I don't know what I can do tomorrow to make money. Yes, this is not a conversation about that will I end up on my feet. Yes, I will. I have confidence I will end up on my feet. What can I do tomorrow to make money tomorrow? I don't know. And I don't think I know how. So and my thing was, I, because of that, I don't think I know how to make money. Like one thing is to be employed yeah. where you get a paycheck by just, you do work for someone else and you get paid for it. But I'm talking about a more macro level of how do I as an individual make money for myself? And I, I had a really hard time over text explaining this to Baha'i that I don't think I'm good at making money. I'm good at working for others and garnishing a paycheck and doing enough good enough job to make that paycheck, you know, hopefully increase year after year after year. But Tomorrow you put a gun to my head. Okay, I hate using that analogy, gun to the head, but tomorrow you challenge me that, hey, Atif, if you can make $100, I will give you another $100. Like if you challenge me, right? I don't think I can go tomorrow and make $100. I really don't. Okay. Just just anything. Okay. Like obviously, there's like, you can go steal it, you can go yeah, fool you someone. Go. Yeah. You, you can, can do all those bad You can sell something. Yeah. And I don't, when I say you can sell yourself, I don't mean in a sexual way I'm, I'm talking about like your services a product you can come like does it does it what i'm saying does that make sense like you can't like you won't be able to i won't be able to get a hundred dollars tomorrow yeah and that kind of scares me that scares me but it's just like wow i'm lacking something would you be able to go make a hundred dollars tomorrow uh no right no yeah I don't, I don't does think that so. concern you at all that like 
I should be able to make. I I don't like I don't I I don't I feel like I haven't thought about that right now. But because okay, like, so maybe I'm just from true. this is a business mindset I'm thinking about maybe entrepreneurship or something. Yeah. But yeah, there is no there's nothing that I can go tomorrow. Because this make just made me think like money off. I of. could take unless photos. Unless I went like like unless I played the piano in public. Like you know how they do those. But that's yeah, more of like a gig. That's not like a. But a gig is a way to make money. Yeah, that's There's nothing like wrong a, with it. That's something like, you could steal it. You could fool someone. You could come up with a <clears throat> scheme to get $100 yeah. off. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, whatever it may be, f- forget uh, ethics right now. Yeah. I don't think I could go make $100 tomorrow. But then that got me thinking, like, well, maybe I could make it. <laughs> by doing. Or by doing photo- yeah. headshots. By doing photography, you use yeah. your skills. Yeah, because like for... that's why my brother's like, oh, you need to come up with a service or a product that you can sell. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get how to do it. What is that product? Yeah, and what is that? What is yeah? That service that I could provide tomorrow, not something like I need to set up for first six months to be able to make my first revenue. Yeah. I'm like, no, like, and I guess I don't know. It's, to me, it just clicked. But I don't know. It's just something that it's, I, I was on my way to Antioch. And I had a long time to think, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I was just like, dude, what's wrong with that? There's nothing I could do to make money. Because it's like, you know, like, I'm, not, I'm not hoping for the worst, but like, you know, God forbid some weird apocalypse comes and like these major tech companies go, and I'm screwed. I'm, I, I'm the person who dies in the first episode of Walking Dead. Yeah, you're the. I you're don't make it to season three, zombie. four, five. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the first wave yeah. <laughs> of zombies. I'm after you. So, like, like, I know, I think Planet Earth will feel comfortable with me sharing this, but he's making some beautiful pottery. Um, he He's very knowledgeable in what he, uh, in, in his field, so soil sciences, that he's, he's even taught it now, that he can do s- speaking gigs. He can do meetups i'm just using him as an example like when i think of me i'm like i could teach video editing but i feel like every single damn person is teaching video editing right now yeah. i can teach photography everyone's teaching photography uh i can teach directing but that's that's where i'm like i'm not comfortable feeling teaching directing i just it's just one of those moments in life that you probably thought you think too much and you put yourself into a weird trap Anywho. Yeah. Um, I think, like, th- there isn't, like, anything that, 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 like, I guess right now, for us, there'd be, like, gigs. Most it's not of bad. Like, well, yeah, it's not a, bad. A gig can turn into a business. Yeah. Or it could just be supplementary income, which is not a bad thing either. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Part of me is just, like, do I set up a headshot studio right behind us? <laughs> And just this is like black parda is already there. Yeah. Just throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up a white part, a uh, white blanket or something. Yeah. Like Get you to do some headshot modeling for me. Headshot modeling. Yes. Trust me, you're at that age now. You you can use a headshot. It'll be good for you. Yeah. And not just for the businesses, for the ladies too. And the gents. I don't just play. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I, I'm just losing. I, 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 I don't know what to say. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to be cancelled. How? How would I be cancelled? It's a, it's a tough world out there. It's, it's all about how tough you make it for yourself. Advice from your Atavai. Trust uh, me, trust me, it is. I because I, you can choose not to say something and not make the world tough on you. No, that's true. That's true. But what about the stories like the one last time? Making the world. Death. Okay, that's an extreme though. I, I'm not gonna go outside thinking I'm gonna get kidnapped <laughs> and thrown into a barrel in concrete and you know. You just repeated all, all of it. That wasn't all. Of it. You know that wasn't all of it. That wasn't all of it, but that was. 
a very quick summary of it. Yes. Um, where is this? No, I, I am a very big proponent, and people really get pissed off when I say this. A big what? Proponent that life is as hard as you make it out to be. Yes, there are circumstances in life where outside forces make it harder for you, but there are a lot of aspects in my own life where I was just like, ah, if, if I didn't do X, Y, and Z, A, B, and C wouldn't have happened. I can spend the rest of my days crying about why did so-and-so or A, B, and C happen to me, or, or the people affiliated with A, B, and C do that to me or i can be like next time i should be more thoughtful about doing x y and z and move on with my life yeah yeah that's my oh that's a, that's, that's, a good, that's my that's a good thought i still show it off to people i can read this this that, oh yeah that is actually some of the work that i'm actually quite pleased with is the headshots of the family I took. Yeah, they're, they're like I've seen a lot of the ones that t that you took, and they're pretty good. For someone who's learning, I would say, I would agree they were pretty good. Yeah. I am not a person who ever touts their own work. I need to start stop being bitchy about that shit and start tooting your own horn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of idiots out there who do it anyways. Might as well do it. Uh huh. Because we're not half bad. Yeah, it's. I think it's down to that. Modesty. Mm, I think it also falls under like the, that modesty. Also falls under that like mentality almost. But it's the way we were raised. Yeah. No denying. Like you shouldn't like you shouldn't go out and be like a like boast extremely, but you also shouldn't be like. Oh, like What's you know, uh, like speak Even though you are doing things, you're not like. You're not uh, letting anyone. Know. 96 is right here. I don't know if that's fully. I think that's pretty good. Adjusted? Yeah. Hey, more fun. Yo, Hello. yo, Asad. How's this? Hello, how's it going? I, I, I would have seen him the other weekend. He, um, Him and another friend of ours went to Tahoe. But the, the ask was to leave by 6 a.m. I'm like, psh. I think I'm, told, a, I'm I waking think up it, at 10 a.m. Yeah. There's, there's no way I'm gonna make it out at 6 a.m. with a baby or a, not a baby, to a toddler. One, yeah, the toddler. But next time I said, we should make a trip, dude. Me, you, Kanza, and Adi, and if Noor wants to come, Papu can come too if he'd like. Yeah. We should. Mommy should could come if she'd yeah. like, but the plan should be for us. But I feel like I've been to. I'm okay with the day trip, but at the same time, like it's kind of if the rest. Of being able to rest one night makes it a little less hectic. But Me anyways, meaning like staying o like it's just one night and yeah. like. But uh, I'm getting old now, so maybe that's why my perspective. It is 7:01, sir. We will make two. We'll get up to number 300. Okay. Yeah. Like on, on point, you just yawn. On yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is seven o'clock. Then yawn. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wouldn't go past seven. <laughs> Of course, the 300 is really complicated. It's not that bad, though. It is? It's, it's okay. Oh, okay. It's a small sub assembly. Yeah. So, is it safe to admit this is probably the hardest Lego set we've ever made so far? I Even think Lamborghini is going to take that, the crown, but. Like, this is definitely. It's not easy. Oh, dude, this was supposed to go somewhere. Did you? Did I not give it to you? No, it was it was a little more back. Oh my! Is he going? Right there. It's exposed enough that you can still do it, unless you you. Unless you thought I didn't give it to you and you did it yourself. Mm. 
Where? Okay, so if that's the front, that's towards the front. Right here? I did it. No, that's two. No, it's towards the front. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I did it. Okay, cool. I forgot what I was making. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, one minute. So I was. What was I doing? Was I? Yeah, I was here. So. Yeah, okay, that was six minutes. I'm drinking the cold. There we go. And then. One stack. Six drawers. You get this. I'm done for tonight. Dude, when I first saw this Defender, I'm like, yeah, I'll get a piece of cake. It's not. I, I barely even looked at it, I'm like, holy crap. There's a lot going on here. So this, too is, much this going is the on first here. live stream that we weren't even able to finish a bag. Because it's, it's it was very, seven yeah. bags, right? Bag two had seven bags plus a bunch of small yeah. bags within bags. It 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 was just um. Okay, so this goes. That felt like a nice satisfactory clip. And then, oh, 301. There's just one piece. Okay. We'll we, could, okay. we could start it. You went yeah. first. <laughs> All right. This is where I just complete. <laughs> oh, no, it was just dropping it. That's it. You sure? Yeah, it was just lit. Like, yeah, it was just dropping it into, into place here. Looks like it matches up with this one, the, the bed. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah. All right, sir. That is our... Part two of not well, we haven't finished bag two yet. So this is my this is gonna maybe go to five parts, I think. Yeah. Cause I think by next live stream this will be done. And hopefully a good chunk of bag three. Yeah, and a good chunk of bag three should be done. So only four streams possibly. If bag four and bag three are not, I think very there's, there's a lot of like body work, which is big chunks that should yeah. be better. Should um, be. like so the this is mostly body work some of these green pieces like the yeah. seats and stuff like that So that should go by a lot faster All right, sir. Well, where can people find us? All right, so you can we live stream of course on YouTube and on Twitch uh, You can find us on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter as well and we post we blast notifications on Twitter so if yeah. you if that's if that's your main platform, that's a good place to get notifications um, okay. Yeah, pretty much. What is your name, sir? My name is Atif. My name is Komel. And until next time, part three of The Defender. Which will be next week, probably at the end of next week. We're taking a little bit of a break at the end of this week and at the beginning of next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. So we will catch up with you all probably next Friday. Yeah. But once again, if you are following us on the socials, you will know when we're going live. Yeah. Cool. So until next week, until the next live stream, we will see you then. Take care. Bye.